We are at 76 now, so warming up quite significantly. 82 this afternoon, 83 tomorrow, 83 Wednesday, 85 Thursday. Lots of humidity, morning drizzle. We're getting into that pattern, but things change Friday. Front comes in, and that brings a chance for storms. Cools us down, too, Friday into Saturday. All right, we'll keep an eye on those storms. That'd be nice. All right, thank you, Justin. Thank you so much for watching. That is it for us here on the News at Noon. SA Live starts right now. Got it. Celebrate San Antonio. Coming to you live from Historic Market Square. This is SA Live. <laughs> there she goes. Hello and happy Monday. We are getting you ready for spring break with some high flying fun from our very own Jen Tobias Trusty. Bad. Good afternoon. I'm Fiona Gorstiza. And I'm Mike Osterhage. And we wanted to share some really, really exciting news. You may have heard about this in the news. The Clark, <coughs> excuse me, that I know. That spicy Talking. one got me. The Clark mm -hmm. High School girls basketball team won their first ever UIL Class 6A state title. It was in front of the hometown crowd right there at the Alamo Dome. Congratulations, ladies. Yes, plus a couple of boys teams from San Antonio are competing this week for the state title here in the Alamo Dome. Yes, indeed. And the Trinity Tigers women's basketball team, they won both games, entered the tournament, Division Three tournament over the weekend. They're now in the Sweet 16. They're heading to uh, Boston at the end of the week to play in the Sweet 16. So go, go Trinity. I was at that game Friday night. Wow. <laughs> That's a fun game to watch. They are tough. And of course, so many students doing great things in South Texas, right? Yes, they are. So we want to hear your shout out. Is it, you know, the team that's doing great? Um, did somebody just get accepted to big college or something mm -hmm. like that? Let us know. We just want to give a, give a shout out and make it kind of a feel good Monday, I guess you could say. Yes, be sure to tag us at SA Live KSAT on Facebook and Twitter and brag on your kid. You might see them on TV a little later in the show. All right, well, spring break is next week and between the sun and fun you need a tasty treat our first guest is getting ready for the busy season here in south texas and their snack shop is as popular in person as they are on social media in fact they have a, more than eighty thousand followers on TikTok alone lauren cuevas owner of ice size babies here to show us something yes. and they Hello. have something for everyone sweet sour and i have to take spicy. a sip because i get the spicy and yeah, there's that water. It gets yep. a little hot. Okay. It gets a little yes. hot. All right, so let's start with the sweet like Mike. What are we making? Oh. <laughs> so Mike is going to be making an Oreo brownie banana split. And you're okay. going to start with two bananas on each side. All right, what kind of ice cream do we have in there? What flavors? So it comes with vanilla, cookies and cream, and chocolate. But we do serve 14 different flavors. So you guys can pick if you'd like. Ooh, OK. And that's the thing, is that people can come in and kind yes. of customize their concoctions, right? We're all about right? customizing. We, uh, we're all about toppings and crazy. So whatever your imagination comes up with, I can make it for you. Do my Oreos okay. like this? Yeah, however you'd like. Okay. We do Cool Whip, there's chocolate sauce, there's gonna be caramel. Should I do this first? Yeah, go Break ahead, yeah. brownies, okay. Sprinkle some brownies everywhere, crumble it up. How'd you so, come up with this recipe? Um, so I have a mother that loves chocolate and loves brownies. So she actually came up with this. I'm gonna put it on the menu and it's one of our most popular items. Yes. Thank you, Mom. Yes. Mm -hmm. And yeah, you, you see that yes. on the screen? Yes, we're gonna tell you guys about an SA Live deal coming up. So stick yes. around for that. So what is some of the most uh, popular I would say order. our most popular are our mangonadas. Like I said, we're all about customization. So if you see all our toppings right here, you pick your flavor of cup and you just tell me what you want on top. I make it look pretty, chamoy, lucas, lime, and that's how we present it to you guys. All right, is he putting the finishing toppings yes. here? Yes, you gotta finish off with the Cool Whip, uh -huh. a cherry, and a little bit of pecans. Right Don't on. be afraid, just, <laughs> yes. And you have two locations now, right? We do, yes. We have one inside Fort Tanoff Bandera. It is 2113 Bandera and one right next to MacArthur High School, which is where I actually graduated from. Yes, yes 3027 MacArthur View. Yes. That's gotta be cool to now have it is a shop cool. there, right? A business yes. there. Yes, I used to actually hang out in that shopping strip growing up. Ah, so it's very cool. Ah, yes. ah. See y'all later. Okay, he's baby. gonna enjoy Ooh, that. Which yes. one am I doing? You are all doing a cucumber okay. split. This is okay. a sour version of that. Okay. We're just gonna put cucumbers all around it. Okay. And with something like this, you can really pick whatever toppings you like. We do it with gummy worms, gummy bears, and these little spicy belts right here. Okay, Actually gonna, spicy belts? Yes. So these are very, very good. These are the most popular we have. Oh, and we just kind of sprinkle them on top. Sprinkle them? Yes. Uh, I, I love your mom's creativity when it comes to the mm -hmm. chocolate. I will definitely let her know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. And then after this? 
you're gonna go crazy with the chamoy and the lucas. Oh wow, yes. okay. And then any other toppings you'd like, of course, if you're a watermelon fan, a pineapple fan, whatever you'd like. And that's how I say, it's basically kind of, um, what your business is all about, whatever you like. Literally whatever you like. If I have it, I can make it for you. Yes, Lucas. Okay, you've been in business how long now? It'll be six years this August. Is it, I mean, is it everything you thought it would be? <laughs> it is everything and more. I had no idea we were gonna have this much success and it's been very fun. It's like not even work. It's just being, we're just going to work, have fun. Which is great. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we've done the sweet, we've done the sour, and now I'm you're gonna, gonna finish off with something spicy. spicy. So this is the rusa. We're gonna start with a uh, chamoy, and we're gonna do Lucas, salt. It's a little bit of all the sour stuff that we do. All mixed together. All and, mixed and, together, yes. And this is all tried and tested yes. prior, right? This is actually one of my favorites. I went through a, a summer phase where this is all I wanted to drink. I was obsessed with it. And it's gonna be grapefruit soda. We Everything mix it all sour in there. Yes. Yes, but <laughs> that's intense. Right. No. <laughs> it looks intense, but the soda does calm it a little bit. Uh -huh. And we are going to add fruit on top, so you can eat it all together. It goes. It goes really good. Back to the business side of things. Mm -hmm. yes. Somebody starting off, like you did six years ago, what would be your best piece of advice to give them? Biggest piece of advice, mm -hmm. I would say, is do something that you personally love, because you're going to be doing it every day. And if you want to do it every day, can't feel like a job, you gotta enjoy it. So find something that you enjoy. You gotta have the love, you gotta have the passion. Yes, right? you gotta have the passion, yes. Okay. okay. And yeah. you, so what, with more than 80,000 followers on just TikTok alone, yes. what can do you think contributes to that success? I believe our customers, uh, our customers are very involved. We'll have customers come in and make TikToks for us and we'll post it on our page. Our girls are really uh, creative too, so whenever we have free time, they'll be making funny videos. And uh, I always tell everybody, just record everything, have fun, and just send it to me so I can post it. And that's what we do. That's what yeah. we do. And you got a great mm -hmm. deal too, right? Yes, if you say you saw us on SA Live, we are gonna give you a free tiny snow cone. So you can Ooh. come try us out, check us out. Okay, and that yes. is just the finishing touch right there on yes. that. All right, well you can visit Ice Ice Baby at their two locations. One at 2113 Bandera Road inside 410, and the newest one at 3027 MacArthur View, right next to MacArthur High School. For more information, just go to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Okay, so we've got all of these spring break snacks kind of covered here, mm -hmm. I think. We're gonna continue to eat these during the, uh, the next mm -hmm. segment, but Jen, found some place. You want to challenge, get your heart pumping, and it's a really cool spot. Yes, it's inside the shops at River Center, right in the heart of downtown. And Jen, how are you doing? Are you up high, down low, everywhere in between? What's happening? Yeah, you know, I'm feeling a little nervous, speaking of being scared of heights, but this isn't too bad. And of course, we have ourselves harnessed in here. I have Dave Coe, the manager here at Liggettville, joining me now. Hello, Dave. Hi, how are you? I'm doing great. So this place has been open over a year. What, what has been the feedback from people who come out here? Um, a lot of people enjoy it because it, their kids have fun um, mm -hmm. and it's a great time for the whole family. Yeah, because you mentioned kids, but really, what, toddler to 90 years old, right? Yeah, anybody can do it. Um, as long as they're over 48 inches, um, they can come to the big course. And under 48 inches can do the little course on the bottom. So there's something for everyone. I love that you all have the little area for the little ones over there. So, all right, we have all the different rope courses here. There's also a zip line, but tell me about what we have here. Um, we have uh, rope courses on the first floor here, and then we have another one, uh, uh, equal amount on the second floor up top. How often do people fall? <laughs> That's my question. Um, they don't actually fall, they just hang from the rope that we are connected to. Um, so they just, I guess, slip. Yes. Does that happen often? So. I'm nervous, Dave. <laughs> um, I would say like once in a while people slip, yeah. Okay. All right, well, it depends on the one you go for. So we have these three here. Dave, I'm going to start here, okay? That one I'm a little nervous about. I don't, and, you know, doing this on uh, live television. So do you have any tips for me as I go through? Um, the blue line will help you balance. Okay. If you hold on to it, it'll... Oh, why am I nervous? Oh, my gosh. I suddenly remember how scared of heights I am. Okay, so focus on that blue line, right, Dave? Yeah, blue line will help you balance. Um, it's probably the most stable part of the course. Ooh, my legs. <laughs> All right. 
Okay, now tell me about this one, Dave. Um, that one jiggles a little bit, uh, just to give you a little scare. But if you hold on to it um, and use the blue <laughs> line, oh my gosh. it'll keep you safe. Okay. Now, does it help for me to go throw this? Like, I'm sorry? Does it help for me to throw it ahead of me? Like? Yeah. Why am I so scared? Okay, hold on. Okay, this one I underestimated. Okay. <laughs> I'm seriously scared right now. So, keep going. We'll see if we can make it all the way. Okay. <laughs> Dave, do you have a favorite one? Uh, my favorite one is the rolling log um, right here. Okay. <laughs> okay, we're almost through this one, y'all. Again, I underestimated it. Okay. Okay. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. All right. So we're going to come this way. We have about a minute left. Right. Which one is more difficult, Dave? Um, probably one on the, your right is more difficult than That's the left That's more one. difficult? All right, I'm going to go with this one. <laughs> okay. Dave, have you tried all of these? Yeah. You're not scared? Um, maybe I, when, in the, when I first started, but I'm used to now. Okay, guys. And this is kind of shaky. <laughs> this is actually kind of nerve wracking, believe it or not, for little me here. <laughs> Trying not to fall. Okay. Definitely something I've never done, though. So it's kind of cool. Okay, so tell me what else people can experience other than the ropes course on this side you have tell me about the zip lining yeah we have a zip line over there on the corner um, it'll make you feel like you're on a zip line all right and we're almost done here and in the second half of the show we will go try the rock climbing wall and remind me how many rock climbing walls you have over there? Uh, we have 10 walls over there. <laughs> 10. <laughs> Maybe I won't be as nervous. All right. Okay. We did it. All right. High five, dude. <laughs> All right. So for more information, you know, head to SALive.com. Click the as seen on SA Live. Tap Fiona. Mike, I'm going to toss it back to you. My legs are still shaking. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, still ahead on the show. I know she did. Still ahead on the show. Bear Essentials is here, and we are going to show you some great spring trends. Looks for the guys. But first, are you looking for spring break camp for the kiddos where they can express their creative side in a fun way and get a little messy without you having to clean up? That's next on SA Live. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, some of us have to work during spring break, but that doesn't mean the kids can't have their own adventures. Exactly. And Shannon Schumacher, who is the owner of Kid Create Studio, is here to show us some of the great artistic activities kids can do during spring break and pretty much any day of the year, right? Great or grape? Uh, yes. <laughs> and, and we'll okay. talk about why that is so great, great. Or something like that a little bit later on. All right, so what are we doing first? So first thing we're going to be doing is we are going to be making a coral reef, nice and sparkly, and this is part of our Sparkle Spectacular camp that we're running on Monday. Mm -hmm. So first thing we're going to do, just dip it into this uh, glittery solution. We're going to paint it all over so it's nice and shiny. And this is real clay. It's not anything model magic or anything like that, right? That is exactly right. So and it dries and hardens. We give it about three days and it's like a rock. Okay. okay. And then after we get this sparkle on it, we are going to take our little seashell with the pointy end and we're going to just put some holes in it so that way it gives it a nice coral reef. And yours is right there. Oh, right here, right yeah. here. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. So what ages can attend your camp? So our camps start all the way at uh, down to three years up to 12 years of age. 
Okay. And so they just have to be fully potty trained, right? That is exactly mm -hmm. right. Fully potty trained to be dropped off for one of our camps. Okay. And there are different kinds of camps, right? That's right. So all spring break, so our, for on Monday we have our Sparkle Spectacular, then we also have a camp where we are creating art where everything smells. So all of the materials are going to smell um, just like exactly what they are creating. Which is the reason behind this painting because that smells, it is grapes and it smells like grapes. That's exactly right. How did you make it smell like grapes? So we used a um, grape Kool-Aid that we mixed with our watercolors to give it that grape scent. Really? Mm -hmm. So you can Genius. actually draw mountain laurels and they'll smell like grape Kool-Aid. Yes. <laughs> okay, Genius. Now the seashells? Yes, now you're going to add in your seashells to your coral reef. And, and then just, when you're, yep, just poke the, them on in there. And the nice thing about this is it, whatever the kids come up with, I mean, it's their design, it's their creativity. That's exactly and right. Plus, there's nothing electronic in it. Yes, in yes, classes, exactly. Right? So, get that nice uh, screen free spring break. And then we're just going to put our little sparkle fish right on top of there. Okay. There we go. Oh, All right. So, How's one fun? of the other types of classes, of course, is painting, right? Painting on canvas, that's right. And we have a really fun um, spring break camp called Fido Fanatic, where we are painting our very own dog. So, right now, we're just going to add, take a little bit of that black, and we're going to uh, put normal. our little puppy's nose on there and the little eyes. And if you sign up for spring break, is it every day of the week? Do you sign up for individual days? How does that work in registration and everything? So registration is on our website and everything is pre-registration and we have different camps every single day. And then we also have different camps in the morning and different camps in the afternoon. Our morning camps are from nine to 12. Our afternoon camps are from one to four. And so you just sign up for each one individually depending on when you want your kiddo to come into the studio. And so while we are finishing this right here, you also have glow parties? What we are do. Glow we have parties? artsy glow parties, and we actually have one next Friday for St. Patrick's Day. It is where we keep the studio completely dark, and then we use materials that glow, and we use black lights, and everything glows. The kids create with the materials that glow in that black light. They're so fun. They're a really fun time. And then even throughout the year, if you know you just want kind of a well, afternoon off or something like that, as long as you pre-register and then for a couple of hours, kids can go there and just have a break from mom. That's exactly right. And mom and dad right. for a while too, right? Yep, we have weekly classes happening throughout the week. We do homeschool classes um, and then we even also have summer camps. Okay. Did I do that right or is my dog looking possessed? No, you, your dog looks so good. Okay. <laughs> okay. Your dog looks Kinda so angry. awesome. All right. And where are you located? So we are located um, north of uh, Fiesta, Texas and uh, the Rim Shopping Center on I-10 uh, at the Dominion uh, Shopping Center. Okay. Well, if you would like more information on Kid Create Studio, again, a great opportunity for kids to uh, learn all different types of medium, clay, and paint, and all sorts of goodies from a wonderful teacher over there. Head over to SALive.com, click on the As Seen on SA Live tab, or just scan that QR code right there at the bottom of your screen. Shannon, so good to see you. Thank you Thank very you much. Thank you guys for having me. Y'all did awesome. <laughs> They're not your normal climbing walls, and there's 10 of them here at Ligaville at the shops at River Center. We're gonna give them a try. Stay tuned. And next, it's a message of hope, how people in the community are sending love and support across the world to a nation struggling in tough times. That's straight ahead on SA Live. Welcome back to SA Lava. There's an event happening this weekend to spread love and hope for the people of Burma, hosted by First Baptist Church of San Antonio. And here to tell us more is Tara Kuba, who is the Director of International Asian Ministries. Welcome, and would you introduce your guests? Yes. This is Pastor Nyang Lung Jin, Zomi First Baptist Church. And this is Shora Lita Ken, Cor Cornerstone Karani Baptist Church. Okay, and they are refugees from Burma. That is correct, yes. Uh, tell us about the situation in what is now known as Myanmar, formerly Burma. Yes, uh, Myanmar, formerly known Burma, in 2021, the Burmese military took power over civilian government. And uh, they, uh, the people that elected, but the people went on the street and protested, but they killed and tortured the people of, 
of the civilian uh, people. So right now, in two years, when we look at that, there are 3,000 people have been killed, and 10,000 men, women, and the children have been tortured and killed and sent into their jail. And also, 10, uh, 1 million um, refugees have been fled to their uh, border, the Burmese border and uh, many IDP are in the number of IDP has been increased in two years. So the event coming up showing support and unity for Burma, tell us about what's going to be going on at this prayer event. Yes, this prayer is that uh, uh, we are going to tell the message to our families, friends that we they are loved and they are not forgotten. The family here in San Antonio and uh, uh, the, the friends and the families and the churches are praying for them and then we're going to raise our voice and then we're going to, to would like to spread the words that they are love. And to, obviously prayer is very strong but also to, to make people more or more people aware of the situation that's been going on over there, right? Yes, that is correct because we believe in, in the power of prayer and then we went to send the message that uh, we will never underestimate the, pr the prayer. So uh, we will come as one and then we will show our strength and then our the unity that we have. And uh, we went to, we will pray for, uh, we will pray and then sing and then we will hear the message that uh, given by their pastor Danny Penter. And open to everyone and including prayers and songs in all different languages too, right? That is correct. We will be singing and we will be praying in multiple languages. And uh, this event is uh, open for everyone. We welcome you and to show solidarity and peace for Burma. Well, thank you very much and best of luck. And again, the First Baptist Church of San Antonio International Ministry Unity Prayer for Burma will take place this Sunday, March 12th at 5 p.m. It's happening in the yellow parking lot at First Baptist Church of San Antonio at 1515 McCullough Avenue. For more information, call 210-226-0363 or visit the website fbcsa.org. Thank you all very much. Appreciate it. Thank you. Still ahead on SA Live, spring will be here soon, and fellas can get a jump start on the season's trends and fashion tips from Bear Essentials. And next, she sailed through the sky, now she's testing her climbing skills, where you can find this thrilling adventure. Our Jen Tobias Stresky takes off there. You don't want to miss this, plus here's a look at what's happening this week on SA Live. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, you're staying in town this spring break. That doesn't mean you still can't have some really exciting adventures. All week, we're exploring spots around the city where you can unplug and come together as a family and have fun. Yes, and right in the middle of downtown San Antonio in the shops at River Center is one of those spots. You saw the Sky Trail, the zip line now. Jen Tobias Strusky is putting her climbing skills to the test. Jen. Well, I'm getting ready to test my climbing skills. Dave's back out here with me at Liggettville, and tell me where we're at now, Dave. Uh, we're at our clip and climb section. Uh, we have 10 walls uh, of rock climbing that you can climb. So 10 different walls. Can you walk with me here? We'll come and see these. So these are not your average kind of walls. So tell me about the designs that went into putting all these together. Um, we designed it so that it'll look more fun for the kids, uh, so they'll feel more comfortable climbing them. And there's something really special about that, because I would, you, I mean, I would say some of those rock climbing walls, the the normal looking ones, can be a little intimidating, but this kind of makes it fun, right? Yeah. And obviously safe, I can tell when we're on this uh, floor here. It's like a soft, right, texture. <laughs> and then you have the pads there, and then obviously we'll get harnessed in and uh, have some fun as well. So this is connected, but it is in a different location from where the ropes course is, right? Yeah, it's just about a minute walk from the ropes course. Okay, and now this one's really cool. Tell me about this one. Um, this is called Detonator. Uh, this is probably one of our hardest walls that we have. <laughs> Of course, I had to try that one. Yeah, that one is challenging, I will say. I didn't make it all the way up there. So oh, we also have these walls that have some timers on them. So we can give them a try. Which one do you think I should try, Dave? Um, they're actually both the same. OK. Do you want to try the blue one? Sure. Let's try this one. We can come this way. So Dave, have you, have you done these? <laughs> 
Yeah, I've done them before. You made it all the way to the top? Yeah, it's not very fast. <laughs> okay. You go. And there's a timer if you want to. Oh yes. Time okay, yourself. ready? We'll see what we can do. Here we go. All right, let's go. What's the record, Dave? Um, 6.38 seconds. What? Who did that? Okay, okay. Well, again, you can have birthday parties here too. There's tables and all kinds of fun. Dave, uh, what do people need to know if they want to have a party here? Um, our minimum ah. party is a 10, 10 tickets. Um, okay, and then they minimum get a, of 10? Yeah, they get a two hour reservation for the party area. <laughs> Mike and Fiona, should I do a Spider-Man drop down? Yeah. All right. Okay, back to you guys. Oh. <laughs> okay, <laughs> we're good. Okay, back to you guys. Is yeah. she just crack her knee on that thing uh, coming she out? She might have a bruise. Hey, All right. still on the show. <laughs> kind of the same old dinner ideas. Kick off this week with something new. We made this meal less than 10 minutes where you can find this quick and inexpensive recipe. And next, as the weather warms up, it's time to update your wardrobes. Bring fashion trends for the gents or straight ahead on SA Live. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> okay, get me off of this thing. Welcome back to SA Live in beautiful Market Square. All right, guys, if you want to achieve street style with a spring spin, Stefan Delgado from Bear Essentials joins us to guide you through the season. Welcome, welcome. Good to have you back. I'm glad to be back. Yeah, this is my mm -hmm. favorite time of the year, my favorite season, because with spring, I always tell people, like, this is where the guys should be trying, but also not trying too hard. And I'll get to that when I show these looks, what I mean by not trying too hard. So it's like the relationship rule. No try, comment. But don't try No too comment. Hard. I'm going to stay away from that one right now. I'm going to stay away from that one right now. All right. Well, let's get into our first look here. Yeah. So Justin here has a nice, what I call that beginner look for spring. It's very simple with some chino pants and then it goes into like a nice pink polo. I want to emphasize the polo piece of it because we've had this conversation before. It's not a golf shirt he's wearing. He's wearing a polo. Golf shirts are meant for the links. Don't do polo it. Polo shirts are meant for the evening. And then he throws in a nice little overcoat to wear for the cool evenings. One other thing to point out on his chinos, they got an elastic waist. So I like these for some guys because they just feel a bit more comfortable with pants that are less restricting like a regular chino would be. So I like this look for Justin right here. Justin can move. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah right, Justin? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now as far as pops of color, yep. there's a way to do it right. There is a way to do it right, and that, this goes back where I say trying too hard. Mm -hmm. What we have here on Nick is we have some nice kind of um salmon colored pants, right? But it's only one area of the outfit that's got the pop of color. We don't need to look like a confetti cannon and have a bright shirt as well too, right? Let's keep it simple. A nice blue button up shirt underneath with a nice jean jacket. Again, this look can be worn during the day, it could be worn in the evening as well. He could change up his shoes and put on some loafers and he'd be ready to go out for the night too. So don't look like a sorbet or a sherbet, <laughs> right? And then if you're going to use that pop of color, the other color has to kind of be from the same family, right? Exactly. And he could easily go with a pop of color on the top and change the bottom if he wanted to. I just don't right. like it where it's the whole, it's of too course. loud. Too loud. Yep. Don't do that. Yep. Okay. All right. And then for, say, the evenings, mm. all right, we've got um, a great look here. And what I love about it are the the pants because they're a little different. Yeah, so these pants here, so they're green, right? So still got a little bit of a pop of color with him, but they're more of a linen material. So they, they breathe better than your typical Chino uh, material. Okay, and this is our fabulous model, Chris, who's bringing in his own prop with him right now because I got to tell you guys during rehearsal Chris who is um, a first timer here as one of our <laughs> models on this segment didn't know what to do with his hands and he was leaning on the table and we said there it is that's it right there that works we'll bring the table to you Chris <laughs> yeah I, I have no idea where I find these guys but I find them so so but yeah no Chris has a great look here so again going back to the pants they got to have that linen material he's got a nice little navy blue crew neck sweater for the evening when it gets cool he's got again his jean jacket I've told you this before in many segments that jean jacket should be that staple that you always carry in that passenger seat for you're the back seat always have it ready to go 
because it looks great with all looks. And Chris pulls this all together this evening as well too for spring. And I like the darker color on top, like you mentioned earlier. I do, I do yes. too. Okay, all right, now we're finishing off with what you've got on. Yeah, so my look is a little bit more of a dressier spring look, right, for that evening dinner. Um, what I have here is some white chinos. Again, going back to old segments, I believe that all men can wear white pants. It's just about wearing them right and wearing them with the right colors. And so I kept a little bit more in tune with the color, going with a light tan. Um, I guess what you'd call it like a short sleeve cardigan mm -hmm. sweater. And then some loafers as well too, to kind of tie it all in for that evening look. So just a nice, easy out, going out spring look. And of course, all these looks are from where? Yeah, so all these looks are from J. Crew at La Cantera. Shout out to those guys for helping me put these looks together. Um, also keep in mind, I'm gonna be doing an event out there in the next couple of weeks where you guys can come and shop with me and I'll style you guys. So be on the lookout through my Instagram page. I'll put some information on there as well. And that's a great place to go, you know, for any style tips as well, right? Yes, absolutely, absolutely. I try to keep some style tips on there. Kind of, if you ever have any questions, you're always welcome to message me and I'll try to help you out as much as I can. All right, what's a common mistake guys make with fashion so one thing we were talking about this earlier I think guys will try to go with that no sock look yet the socks they wear are not really no shows you no. can still see them so I think if you're gonna go with the look either get rid of the socks altogether I know that sounds a little weird or just truly wear a no show sock so you can't see them. I think seeing the sock just can totally um, deteriorate the whole spring look and the spring vibe. All right, tell folks how to find you on social. Yeah, you can find me on Instagram, so that's gonna be just at Bear Essentials, which is B-E-X-A-R-E-S-S-E-N-T-I-A-L-S -S -S -E at Bear Essentials. All right, thank you so much, gentlemen, and Chris with your prop, that was fantastic, you did great. <laughs> okay, hope to see you again in another modeling segment in the future. All right, for more information on Bear Essentials, just go to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab, or just snap that QR code that you see there on your screen. All right, next on the show, you don't have to waste all night in the kitchen. We made this meal in less than 10 minutes where you can get this quick and inexpensive recipe and lots more to bring new flavors to dinner time. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back to SA Live. Whether you're looking for some new dinner ideas, we know a great website, tons of easy, affordable recipes, and just the woman to show us how to do it. Yes, Shailene McNeil from Beef Love and Texans is here to share some of those recipes. All right, what are we making today? Oh, this is something special for that loved one, or maybe just the whole family. We're gonna use a flat iron steak. What I love about the flat iron steak, second most tender beef cut, a lot of people don't know that, for about a third of the price. Wow. So it's a, it comes from the shoulder mm -hmm. and a lot of people don't realize this but with a flat iron or with any of your beef cuts you do not have to season the beef especially really? when you're having such the flavors that we're gonna have in this recipe okay. we're putting it right on a medium hot skillet and we're gonna let that go while we start talking about the other bold flavors that and we're gonna put into this no oil no nothing in nothing. That nothing I didn't no season seasoning. it now you always can but you don't have to and that's a common myth that people think that they have to go through all this extra work and they don't really have to okay. in this case we're gonna do a medium hot grill a skillet you could do it on the grill and I'm going to flip it every now and then. It's going to take about 14 minutes to cook. Now, like a tenderloin, can you do that very, very medium rare or almost rare? That's what we recommend. Okay. We love right. it medium rare, about 140 to 145 degrees, and that's what we're going to do there. It'll be super tender. Okay. Now, Fiona, you're going to put together a little ginger preserves chutney with me. So we've taken some ginger preserves, a little rice vinegar, some red pepper, and some water, and cook that down, reduce that down, and you're going to get a really nice jam style that's going to go on top of our flat iron. Mike, what you've got going, I'm keeping y'all busy in the kitchen today. Yes. This is really, you know, elevated, but easy too. Okay. So what you're doing is you've just taken some milk and water and you've mixed in some cornmeal. It's perfect bubbling there. And then you're gonna add in some sweet potatoes, some mashed sweet potatoes. So you're almost getting like a sweet potato infused polenta. Okay. That looks delicious. You can add a little salt. And then Fiona, when that's nice and simmering down, you can just take some store-bought arugula, easy, and top off some olive oil and salt and pepper, toss it together. And this would be something to do if you, say, have leftover sweet potatoes, you want to cook one, and it adds another layer of flavor to it, and plus sweet potatoes are really, really healthy. That is a great idea. You're getting a nice balance of fiber and carbs that's going to go perfect with that protein and the beef, that iron and protein. So you're going to get a really hearty meal, spicy, 
delicious, romantic. What more could you ask for? <laughs> All right. Uh, the price of that, because you said it's second most yeah. tender next to a tender one, but tender ones are outrageously expensive. You get the whole one. How much is that? This usually? was about six dollars a pound. Really? And what you see, this is just under a pound, and this this is a hearty serving of beef here. We're going to be able to get at least two to three servings, maybe four S servings off of this. So six bucks a pound. That's a lot cheaper than like a ribeye oh, steak. Oh yeah, absolutely. it's cheaper yeah. than a ribeye rib steak. And, and if you okay. don't see it in your meat case, it's really common that you'll find it in your meat case. But just in case you don't, a lot of time your butcher has it. And for example, in my little town, they cut this for me last night. They had it in stock. They just cut it for me and oh, really? delicious okay. and flavorful. Look okay. at that. So you're just spreading that on. Oh my gosh, goodness, you look just like a chef there. Ah, thank just you. put a little side of our arugula that's tossed with that olive oil. Mm -hmm. And then you've got some of that delicious tender flat iron right over there, ready to just top on. Okay. And then you can take some of those ginger <laughs> preserves and just drizzle it across the top. Look at the steam coming off that. Oh, perfect. Medium wow. rare. Wow, that looks good. Ooh, look it at looks that delicious. And now. Just kind of top that off. Mm -hmm. Oh okay. my goodness. Hearty, right. yummy. What more could you ask for? And the other nice thing, arugula with nothing, uh, the flavor of that is so it, fantastic. It's refreshing, yeah. but it's also spicy. Mm -hmm. And don't forget, right, Beef you. Loving Texans is your go-to resource for all things beef. That's where you can find out about these great cuts like the flat iron, learn how to prepare them, easy recipes, so be sure and check us out. All yeah. right, Daily McNeil from Beef Loving Texans. For more, all you have to do is go to our website, mm. salive.com, and mm. click on the ad scene on SA Live tab. Yeah. Yes. Everything's delicious. The yeah. beef and that oh, the, the sweet potato, the, yeah. Yes. I always love having you here. Thank you. Thank you. Tomorrow on SA Live, take the silver screen to your next event. This local veteran-owned business is inflating the party fun wherever you need it to be. And it's a new barbecue restaurant and music venue opening up. We taste test the food and cocktail menu for St. Patrick's Day. That's all tomorrow, 1 p.m. right here on SA Live. Celebrate San Antonio with us on YouTube. Yeah, all of your favorite DIY videos, food, drinks, tips, and tricks. If you've seen it here, it's on the SA Live YouTube channel. Just search KSAT SA Live on YouTube and like, subscribe, and ring the bell. All right, earlier we asked you to give a shout out to your students for their accomplishments this year. My niece is a star, soccer star. She scored first varsity goal of the season. Yay! Fantastic. All right, shout out to the Brandeis High School. Bronco Lorette's taking fifth place in kick in the NDA Nationals in Florida over the weekend. Wow! Nice. And nominated for the Go Be Great Award. Fantastic. Yes. All right, have a fantastic Monday. We will see you tomorrow.